tonight. From Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about story lines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And simply put, for many, He's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. And his first pass here is gonna fall incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, perfectly, and knocked it free. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Here's Mahomes to throw. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep, Trent Taylor. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out by last season's comeback player of the year in his third season now. It's Joe Burrow. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. Sometimes that weight can be unbearable. But this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got a bike. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Big 13! Big 13! 
Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 16. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Burrow going to give this to Nixon. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And the Bengals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Hayden Hurst from four yards out. And the Bengals are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point by McPherson. Up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Mahomes going to throw. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And some room to work. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That good for 22 and a first down. Now Mahomes. 
that's caught left side by Hardman. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And the Bengals are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 45 on second down, Burrow. Open man is chase complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Burrow will throw. He will find his man Chase complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions, first and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. And this one incomplete. Oh, a dangerous throw. Nearly picked off in the end zone, but instead second down. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. P. Ryan. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. Zach Taylor's made the decision. He's going to go ahead and throw out the red challenge flag. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. 
Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. Back-to-back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And he is gonna have the first down as he gets this up to his own 11. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully. That doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You gotta be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Mahomes now on first down. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. That's the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Give him another shot here on the ground. And he will have a Chiefs first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Mahomes now to throw. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. And he'll pick up about three there, up to the 43. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On is the punter, Townsend, as he gets this one away. Taylor now returning it. That'll be a 49-yard punt, six yards there on the return. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we were. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that. And that is gone. Two that time. Sometimes the one-handed catches are unnecessary, but he was trying to ward off the defender with the other, so maybe there that was just a good play. So that tells you that not only do they imagine those types of catches, they actually work on them with defenders jostling them in order to keep their concentration and haul it in. I'm one, ready? 
The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Mixing up the middle. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Back to Mixon on second down. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Well, that all makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Burl on third down. He completes it to Boyd. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag in the backfield. And this looks like a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. 52 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Now it's Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Higgins. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. is into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. So they brought the extra hook in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. KC's offense ready to take over. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Screen play, McKinnon. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little game. Second down at six now from the 42. And now here's Mahomes. He finds McKinnon complete. He'll get it inside the 20. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, 
two yards. And the Chiefs are back within a score. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. That is taken in by Hurst. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's a give to Mixon. He's brought down after a pickup of five, but he needed eight. tight end on fourth and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44 yard line they're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one the one thing i have learned about this league more and more you've got to take some chances you know if you play everything conservatively and play everything exactly like okay i know what to do in each situation i don't think you're gonna get very far i love the call there going for it, even on his own side of the field. Yeah, and even though, even though you're on your own side of the field, they were creeping towards midfield, so not as crazy as if they were back at their own 20. Should, right? Yeah, show a little faith in the defense too, right? Yep. Back to Mixon on second down. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now a carry for Pirine. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. 80 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 21. Just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now Burrow on first down. He's got Higgins over the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Now a 
towards Burrow. The quick slant caught. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. They go play action with Burrow. He shakes him off. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. McPherson's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. This one to the right, caught by Valdez Scantling. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Mahomes now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Now another called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Butker's kick here is good. And they're back with it a touchdown at 17 to 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. They're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to lose yardage. Not that it matters as the final seconds tick away. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point. And you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. A handoff to Mixon, and he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. 
Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they have all that time to find someone open down here to go and cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he is going to have a Bengals first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third. But not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. First down, here's Burrow. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Hurst. And they'll work this down inside the third. Normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Here we go, here we go. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Mixon will try the right side. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well incomplete on third down Mixon and just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15 yard line 113 yards for him on the ground now he has been a tough man to bring down all night looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard up incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. Now Joe Mixon, and he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bengals take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. 
That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On second down, they'll run it here. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And here's Taylor on the return. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. They'll run with Mixon. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. 135 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. The ball comes out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Looking at it from the defense's perspective. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. So the challenge there unsuccessful, and that means that he'll be out of challenges for the remainder of this ball game. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. 
Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Complete to Hardman. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Here's the chief spotter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengals getting set to go. Here we go. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll start here with a give to Mixon. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Burrow looking to pass. He's going to have the hook up here to chase. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now Burrow. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on second down, Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 16. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Mixon with a first down carry. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 
A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep... He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Hayden Hurst, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bengals have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Kevin McPherson to kick off for Cincinnati. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scalded out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. But just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception. And this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. Yeah, a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Throwing on second and eight. Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. On third down, Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. The Bengals bring out their punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Here comes Tony on the return. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They go play fake, Mahomes. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. 
No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and ten. A dump down to McKinnon. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Going for it with McKinnon. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. From the 44, Mahomes. Slant route, that's complete to Travis Kelsey. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Mahomes. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Now the Holmes got to have this one. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. And the Bengals are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This goes out wide for Nixon. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Mix it up the middle. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. Two yards on the pickup there. And that will bring up second down. Mixon with it. And he's got a Bengals first down as the tackle made here at the 36. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A Bengal first down on a 16-yard pickup there. 
Inside handoff to Mixon. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. Here's a give to Mixon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the run, it's Mixon. He will push his way down to about the 14. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. So this one in the win count now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Kansas City. Tonight on EA Sports, it's Super Bowl Sunday. and the New England Patriots taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles.
fact, it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion New England Patriots taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis and Charles the Patriots. We know the sequence of events. Tom Brady leaves for Tampa. He wins Super Bowl 55, and the Patriots are kind of middle of the pack for two years, but they turn right around, win the AFC title, and now making their record 12th appearance in a Super Bowl. And I certainly like how you set everything up there, partner, because it certainly felt from the outside that this run of titles was over for this team, that they were going to fall into rebuilding mode. But how about this group? They still believed in themselves, and they made it back to the big game. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time, and not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. stage is finally set and here we go Super Bowl 57 is underway on the return Marcus Jones from the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 so now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And I think that we can help but recognize the similarity of this moment for Jones to the guy who came before him in New England. In Tom Brady's second season, he led the Pats to the first of nine Super Bowl appearances in his time there. And now, in his second season with New England, here's Mac Jones leading them out on the biggest stage in sports. Can he follow through tonight and bring New England its record-breaking seventh Super Bowl title? Stay tuned. Throwing Jones. And that's to Myers, and what a grab. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards right off the bat, and a quick first down. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. on the pickup and it moves the sticks. These were relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Jones. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson and he'll be brought down at the 27. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. From the 25 on second down, Jones. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles 14. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. Now a first down carry for Harris. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. 
vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it. That and that is caught. What a grab at the eight. They'll give him four yards there. And this will wind up being a third and three. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. Off the play fake, Jones. There's Henry, touchdown Patriots. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Patriots are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me, I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game. Then double with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading them out, the third-year player from Oklahoma by way of Alabama, Jalen Hurts. I think we all heard about it in the offseason. There were many questions asking if Philadelphia might consider bringing in another quarterback to replace Jalen Hurts. He answered emphatically, this is my team, and he led them to a Super Bowl appearance. A well-deserved moment for this quarterback who just kept his head down, kept working, and eliminated all the noise. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And he is going to lose yardage here. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Everyone rolls into the Super Bowl saying, hey, I'm confident. I'll just do what I did before. But let's face it, you got to be wary of the jitters going into a big game like this. Super Bowl's unlike any other game you're going to play. And now he's starting out 0 for 2. We'll see if he can rebound. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt. No return. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10, down at the 33. Harris running straight ahead. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 
54 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game. and they That's to Aguilar. Touchdown, Patriots. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Patriots will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four in second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and ten, it's Sanders. Matt Judon there to bring him down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 11 yards for number 11. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Throwing his Hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. They run with Sanders off the option. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Another run with Sanders. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight-yard line. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Pats are going to get the football back at their own 17. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt, and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Jones. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he 
he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the give, this is Harris. They find some open field here. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Yards rushing for him now in the opening quarter of the Super Bowl. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Jones now. Throwing on first down. Open man to tight end Henry. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They hand this off to Harris. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. They got two of the three they needed there and leaves them with third and just a yard. One quarter done, three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. 14-0 is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. That's a gain of 7, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. There's Henry. Touchdown Patriots. Hunter Henry. Super Bowl and the Patriots continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl now Folk for the extra point and it is now 21 to nothing so that drive consumes nine plays all told and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. 
And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A nice gain of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Elliott good with a PAT. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. So that drive, six plays, 75 yards. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. They go play action here on first down. He's got it complete to Aguilar. Man, able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back to back, good plays. Have him on the move on first down. This is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs, and here a loss of yardage. On second and 11 now. Jones. Open man here, the tight end Henry. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run. Here's Harris. Five yards on the carry. Good pick up on first down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know They'll take that type of result on each and every. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over here just shy of the 30. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start with a handoff to Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It was Matt Judon that time who worked his way in to blow that play up. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. Dancing to his left. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. So the completion gets him just a yard. And it'll be fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short.
On his Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Harris starts the drive on the ground, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now Jones, off the play fake. Under pressure, they got him again. Josh Schwett rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. On fourth down, Michael Pilardi on to punt. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. To throw again on second down. Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard. Complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He finds his man. Complete. That's Watkins. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. This is it. Offside. Even. So offside's the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all of these things. This one's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making process. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's swung out wide to Sanders. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This from 44 yards out, left hash. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Running back Damian Harris and the Patriots ready to go on their next drive here. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> they'll stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. We have reached the two-minute warning. In fact, just under two minutes to play in the opening half of this year's Super Bowl. Again, it's Harris on second down. 
And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Jones on third down. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And that's caught inside the 35. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 132 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. First down and they go back to Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven, Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On third down, here's Harris. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The folks kick is good and it grows 14 to 24 to 10. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots will take over possession here up at the 44. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Throwing to start the drive. Jones going deep here for Parker. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense. But this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Jack the first half is winding down and the Patriots are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl on for the extra point is Folk and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points well that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory excellent field position two plays later 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Eagles' offense set to begin their next drive. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Being chased out left. He's got Brown on the out route complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. He'll look to throw. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Hurts throws complete to Goddard. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll look to throw here. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he's able to get the first here. He's taken down at the 25. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. 
A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. He'll look to throw. He's got Sanders on the out route. It's caught. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats will take over here at their own 14-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On second and 11 now. Jones. It's complete to Parker left side. Them eight that time. And now we've got a third down and three. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off play action, Jones. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 181 yards rushing for him now as he closes in on a 200-yard night. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Shakes off the sack. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Harris. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Now a first down carry for Harris. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The tackle goes there to Linval Joseph. From the 38, Jones. And over the middle. This is Parker, and he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Harris running straight ahead, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in this Super Bowl.
They'll run with Harris. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Or the ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Harris will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best block. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now Fulk for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That drive a long one. Spanning 15 plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. They're going to look to throw. There's a nice move. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here at Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. But first down, Hurts. Quick slant here to Smith. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. From the 40 now on second down. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Throwing again on second down. Hurts looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. 
This will be caught at about the six. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Play action. Here's Hertz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jack Stoll, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth-quarter deficit. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll cut the lead back down to 21. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin. A Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off. Second and five now. Jones and caught by Henry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. On the ground, it's Harris. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 25 on second down, Jones completes it to Aguilar. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Patriots are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results. As they start on this drive first and 10. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down.
He'll set up to throw. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Back to throw here. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. From the 44, Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play, and that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Flushed out right. Hurts fumbles it. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 26. They'll set up a throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone. He's hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now on second and 13. Hurts over the middle to Smith. And the Eagles are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Sanders is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Hurts sets up to throw it. The quick slant caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles get a bit closer. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead back now to 21. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. 
And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They run again with Harris. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. I don't know about you, but I like this call third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gordon signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.